Breaking news in the last couple of hours, it's been revealed that King Charles has sent a private letter to Donald Trump after the assassination attempt last weekend. Oh, Meghan Markle is not going to like this one. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph, the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much caught me eye, and oh my goodness, yeah, let's jump into this one, shall we, with a little bit of a disclaimer, okay, whatever political side that you are on, I don't care, I'm just going to essentially run down with you exactly what has happened according to the reports, so whether you approve of Donald Trump or not, it, it doesn't matter in this case, okay? Uh, as King Charles has sent Donald Trump a private message after the assassination attempt over the weekend, it has been revealed in the last couple of hours. Uh, we have found out that, yes, King Charles has written privately to Donald Trump after the former US president survived an assassination attempt, Buckingham Palace has said. Uh, the king is said to have privately messaged the former president yesterday, and this message had been delivered via the US embassy. Now stay tuned because I'm going to explain in a moment why Meghan Markle is going to absolutely hate this development. Stay tuned. Uh, the contents of such correspondence apparently will remain private. Um, I can only suggest a pity because boozy theory or whatever that that's not going to be the case for too long. I, I think um, Donald Trump might reveal a few little tidbits of what's in that letter. I'm expecting that. Uh, but it is safe to surmise that the sentiments are in keeping with those communicated by Prime Minister Sakia Starmer. Uh, during the PM's conversation with Donald Trump, Starmer is said to have condemned the violence, expressed his condolences for the victims and their families, and wished the former president and those injured a quick recovery. Uh, sentiments that I absolutely echo, regardless, again, of what aisle you're on politically, what happened last weekend at that Trump rally is absolutely wrong condemnable to the max uh, it shouldn't have happened whatsoever and the secret service have a lot to answer for as far as i'm concerned now, for those that don't know and have been living under a rock, on Saturday, uh, Donald Trump was left bleeding from his ear after gunshots rang out at his Pennsylvania rally with the Secret Service quickly rushing him off the stage. Now, I'm not going to show you the video of this because of the YouTube human reviewer situation, but if you want to see it, go on Twitter. It's absolutely everywhere and it's shocking to the max. Uh, the tragic event occurred just days before Donald Trump is to accept the Republican presidential nomination. And on Saturday, um, essentially, it, the issue was identified as Thomas Matthew Crooks, uh, and he was unalived by the Secret Service in the end. Now, why would Megzi not like this correspondence between King Charles and Donald Trump, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever? Yeah, Donald Trump and Megzi have a beef going way back, right, guys? Um, and so, yeah, Megzi had been warned back in 2020 uh, by Donald Trump that he will not hold back if she blasts him as president at the time after Megziting from the royal family. A White House source describing Megzi as fair game following her and Hazard's decision to Megzit from the royal family, uh, telling the Express, quote, Markle has now effectively abandoned the royal family that embraced her. Frankly, she will be fair game in the president's eyes. If she criticizes him openly, you'd better get ready because he will respond in kind. Um, and yet there is even more history going back to 2016 when Megzi slammed Donald Trump as misogynistic and divisive during his presidential campaign, uh, whilst Donald Trump hit back saying that she was nasty. But it goes even further, guys, because... That was a few years ago, but only this year did Donald Trump again speak out against Hazard and Megzi, uh, saying to Hazard in particular that he won't protect him like Biden. 
a uh, hint in that he could depart Hazard if he's re-elected, warning Hazard that he will not protect him like Joe Biden. Speaking exclusively to the Daily Mail at the CPAC conference in Washington, moments before appearing, uh, he said that he was furious at the Joe Biden administration for protecting Harry by keeping his immigration application confidential, saying, quote, I wouldn't protect him. He betrayed the Queen. That's unforgivable. He would be on his own if it was down to me. Also believing that the royal family had been too gracious to Harry after what he has done. So as far as I'm concerned, after everything, okay, that Donald Trump has said over the years, okay, and I've just scratched the surface here. Look at my Donald Trump versus Meghan Markle video, uh, which I'll link in the description bar down below for even more of what Donald Trump has said against the gruesome twosome, because guys, he goes in, he goes savage, right? Uh, but this is the thing. After everything, okay, that Donald Trump has said against Hazard and Megzi over the years, for the king to send a private letter to Donald Trump supporting him after the assassination attempt over last weekend, oh, yeah, you can be damn sure that Megzi is hating this right now especially when there were reports that she actually now wants King Charles to try and support her with her current endeavor with American Riviera Orchard and her jams and wines and dog biscuits and God knows what else, right, she wants to try and sell and grift to the unsuspecting public, right? King Charles has not openly supported Megxit in the last few years. But for him to openly, absolutely support Donald Trump, one of her enemies as far as I'm concerned, publicly, oh yeah, you can bet she is seething as far as I'm concerned. All I'll ask you guys is this, can you hear the plates breaking in Montecito Royale right now? I know I can. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alter Nerd tribe because I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about King Charles sending that private letter of support to Donald Trump, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a Super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.